Hello, super quick intro. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the solution to the Hanayama ABC puzzle. So in short, I'm gonna show you how to go over the grooves, where that C goes around the A and B piece, and then how you eventually separate, which is not how I expected it to separate when I was solving this one for the first time. So without further ado, let's crack on with that solution. Okay, so here we have a fully assembled ABC puzzle. And our aim, obviously, is to separate this C from the AB piece. And we're gonna be using these grooves to, to, to do that. To, there's a routine over these grooves and around this puzzle that we move the C through to then separate from, or just to separate the two pieces. Now the first move we're gonna do is we're gonna go over and out of the top of the A piece into the gap between the A and B letters. And we can then turn around that corner of the top of the A into this position here. We're then gonna come over into the top of the letter B. And we're gonna immediately go around the top of it and into the bottom half of the B. Next comes the, the trickiest move of this puzzle, which is we're gonna put the gap of the C from the inside of the pieces, which it has been in so far, to the outside. Because we're now, counterintuitively, gonna reconnect or connect more, or put the C inside the B, the A and the B piece even more than it already has been. So we're now we're in the, the bottom half of the A with the gap in the C and we're then going to transfer across into the top half and we're then going to immediately come out of that top of the A into the gap between the A and the B piece. We're then going to go from that gap over and across into the top half of the B piece and then keeping the, the, the solid part of the C, the solid half in this corner we're then going to come over into this position here, okay? If you were to do it the other way and have this corner or have this straight edge of the C down in this position, you don't have enough room to come over to come over that part. So make sure it's in the, the bottom right hand corner of this, the, the bottom half of the B. Come over that and then you'll notice that the, the bottom half of the B is big enough for us to separate the C from the A and the B piece just like that. And putting them back together is simply a reversal of all those moves or of that routine of moves. So first of all, it doesn't matter which way around you do this with the C, but make sure that the gap or the straight edge opposite the gap is in this bottom corner of the B, because otherwise you can't do the first move, which is to come over into the top half of the B in there. With the C, it doesn't matter if you do it this way around or this way around. It's essentially the same way both times. And because you have to go on with both sides, it really doesn't make a difference. So we're going from the bottom half of the B into the top half of the B. And we're then going to immediately cross over into the middle section between the letters A and B. We're going to go over into the top half of the A through the bottom of the two grooves. So there's two ways into the top half. We're using the bottom one to come straight over and then we're immediately sliding down into the bottom half of the A just in there. What we then do is use this groove to half sort of separate the puzzle. So we're only connected now into the puzzle like once. We're then gonna make it so that the, the, the hole in the C, the gap in the C is on the inside of the puzzle now. So inside of the bottom half of the letter B. And we're going to then move everything over into the top half of the letter B. We're going to turn around the corner and we're going to slide into the gap between the letters A and B in there. We're then going to turn around the corner first and then come over the top into the top of the A, which is the original ABC puzzle position. And that is how you reassemble both pieces. So there we go. That is the route through with the C piece around those AB pieces, or the AB piece. And that is how you put it back together. As I said, it's not how I expected it to solve when I was solving it for the first time. 
And hopefully seeing that routine just then has helped you solve the ABC puzzle for yourself for the first time. And if you want to see me solve the ABC puzzle for the first time or any of these other Hanayama puzzles and then the step-by-step -step solutions to each and every one of them, then make sure you click my face here to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace.